Hi, my name is Irina. Welcome to my studio and to a mass making project which does not involve envelopes because I'm in a bad mental state actually and I want to do something quick and easy without a lot of thinking. I want my scraps. Basically, I do want these, I think, the book page scraps. And I do have a lot of, well, this is not packaging. I don't know. I found it on the floor. <laughs> found it on the floor. I don't know what it's supposed to be. You know, if you rip the backing off, it's not sticky, it's nothing, it's not a sticker, it's just a piece of acetate with this. Okay? I might use this. I don't know. And then this was on top of it. It's just, it's a thinner acetate. I don't know. I truly do not know what it was supposed to be. And then I have all of these, you know, when you get something in a packaging and it's acetate and then you cut it out and you think you're going to use it for something, but then you never do. Okay, I was inspired by Junk Journal Joy, and I made one for my book of ideas for one of them. I don't know which volume it was, and I really liked it, so I I guess I'm going to use this. Then I was working on a project, and also I have all of these leftovers, and I just, you know, I was watercoloring, and the dirty water, basically, that you pour out, I don't pour out. <laughs> I pour it on top of scraps. <laughs> So this way they get like some color and then they dry and they be good. And I'm thinking I can totally use some of these as well. Book page. I, I think I want book page. Uh, also, I want to use... Oh, God. I put them in a new spot and now I'm always like, where are they? I know I, I gave them a new spot. <laughs> my butterflies and my flowers and then I think I should put them just back where they were. Mm-mm. Uh -uh. Nope, these are my flowers. My butterflies did not get in your spot. My butterflies are still here. I still have some stickers left. A lot of stickers left, I would say. <laughs> and I think it's the easiest to do it with butterflies. We could use our... Um, I'm thinking guillotine. Or does it work if we just pretend as if it's kind of straight? It doesn't have to be 100% straight, does it, for this project? I don't know. I would say no. I would say no. I will take pieces, and I also want to use up this maybe. Or should I keep it as a page for something? Oh, that would be cool too. Right? But this is very sturdy. This is like thinner. But this one is very sturdy and it has like this weird, the house is built around a central courtyard, whatever that means. I don't know. I do like the corners though. Quiet courtyard. I cannot keep it. I'm going to cut. So basically this will be kind of, this is done, right? Yeah. This is kind of done. Should we just cut like that? Hmm. Do I keep the corner? No, it, the corner cannot be kept because it's going to be way too long. Say something, somebody. Nobody ever speaking to me. Huh. Okay. I'm not going to keep anything. I'm cutting it off. And then I'm cutting it off right here. Okay. And then the corner I might keep for something. I do not know yet. Let's put it aside. And then the corner here. I don't think I can use it, but let's put it aside. And I don't know. It It's just, I don't know what it's for. If it's for something really cool and I cut it apart now, so be it. And then I also am able to use this, I think, right? I could totally put some piece of paper here, put some piece of paper here. Not going to be able to keep the corner. Basically, just pre-cut pieces of acetate and the way you want them, okay? And I would say leave a little bit on the sides if you have something with a picture like that. but. Mostly I want to do it for the ones that don't have anything on them, like these. And I think we can just do... So we do 10. 10 is always a good number for mass making, don't you think? 
and I don't want to be super straight. So we have one, two, three, four. Oh, this one is, I don't know, is it gonna? Yeah, this one is a little bit, I don't want nobody to get hurt, including me. So this is four, and then these are very short. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there's a longer one. Come on here. I'm, I'm going to just cut about 10 of them like this, somewhat in the shape. I think I have 10. I'm not quite sure. And I'll put this right on top of my little leftover pieces here. Yeah. What do I want to do? I just want a couple of the scraps to go kind of on top and bottom and maybe some different one in between these are all the same what do i have here oh i have this one it's kind of cool a different one in between and now i'm thinking i'm gonna be using my sewing machine mm -hmm. or we could also put them like this if we wanted to whatever I'm going to be using my sewing machine later and sewing it on. So all I need to do, it's going to be super quick mess making video. Hopefully, hopefully. All I need to do is to find some butterflies that will kind of fit on here. You know what I mean? In between. Where's my pokey? pokey. This one is too long. That's fine. And then I would put something here and then something in between and a different butterfly on there. And because they are see-through, they will kind of be okay in the back as well. <coughs> Who's there? Luna said stranger danger. That's what Luna said. Okay, let me get a second butterfly. <coughs> oh, goody, Luna. There's just people <coughs> outside. They live here. <coughs> okay. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find butterflies now and just put them kind of on top and bottom first. And see when you turn it around, <coughs> it's still pretty. Kind of, right? Okay, I'm going to find... I need 20. No, because I have these. Here I'm thinking same thing. Same, but different. Let me get a piece of paper from here. And then make it rip it again. I'm thinking I could just put something in between, put something on top, put something on bottom, and then it's gonna be pretty. I, I truly don't remember how it was initially. What do we have here? I do have these. Just put something on there, you know? Just some kind of scraps. It's too big. We can make it shorter. Okay. And then one of these on the bottom. And then one of these there. And then you can make like a little scrappy if you don't have enough. I think those two was those three belong to here <laughs> i don't know anymore i must say if you don't have enough make it make it kind of different okay different ones you can connect them all and then put them on top of each other because we want to use up scraps right i i don't know about you maybe you don't even have scraps believe it or not there was a time i didn't even have scraps oh good. but now i do Okay. Yeah, this is how it's going to go. My machine says it's heavy duty. So, you know, let's hope it's heavy duty enough to sew through this. Goodness here. 
Okay, okay, so I'm going to find butterflies and I think I'm just gonna put a dot of glue there. I don't know if it's gonna stay or not. So it stays here as well. So I know which 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 um, scraps I'm gonna put where, if that makes any sense. Let's see. Otherwise I'm gonna lose it. I'm just gonna lose it and I'm not gonna know what goes where. A little dot and a little dot. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna find butterflies and pieces of paper. This is easy because this is on there already and you can use any sticker or whatever, right? Because you can, you can stamp on your acetate actually. I'm thinking right now, you could have stamped just a piece of something right there. Oh, look, I have a leftover that looks pretty good already. That's the perfect size. And then I also have these. They are going to be just decorative. They don't, they are not going to serve any purpose, actually. But just be decorative. And I want something different on top of here as well. And I'm sure I have like mini, tiny pieces of something everywhere. And you too, probably. Okay, a little piece, piece of this, a little piece of this. I might even put a number or something on there later. We will see. I have no plan. I'm just doing it. I'm going to put stickers on each of them. I don't think it's 10, but I have used a lot of butterflies. <laughs> I don't think how many of them. Um, I don't think the ones that I've done are 10 pieces of them, but it's fine. I think. It's a few, and I wanted to show you that, you know, I did one, but you don't have to always put them this way around, where is it? Here. I also put it this way around. And whatever was like leftover tiny pieces on my desk, I just stuck it on top. Oh, look, there's another one. Another tiny piece. Where do we not have any tiny... Who are you? Why are you so crooked? Well, that's not the right way to go here, mister. We don't do that. Tiny piece right here. Which way around? I do not know. This way around. Okay, I just tried to use up every little tiny piece. I don't want to make more scraps. That makes sense. So how many have I done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Eight and not ten. I'm going to go so, you know, wherever I did something. And now I'm thinking, do I do anything from there? I actually want it to be without anything in the back because this way this can become a pocket you know later I'm gonna go so and then we will see later what's gonna happen here I think this is going to be the shortest mass making video ever I think so let's hope I had so much fun sewing <laughs> I make I made a garland look I should just hang it somewhere yeah oh, God, I'm trying. I don't know if I'm masking or if I'm trying to get better, but you know, fake it till you make it. That's what they say. Fake it till you make it. I don't know how much longer I can fake it. I cannot fake it for a long time this time. I don't know what's going on. You know, I'm, I'm just not good. And then for my husband, it's not understandable at all because he said the other day, like, I don't understand. It's up and down. It's up and down. And I said, actually, it isn't. It's always down. I'm just masking it. I'm just able to mask it on some days. And then on other days, I'm not. So, I don't know. I do not know. I was truly thinking about... I know it sounds contra productive but I was thinking to tell my therapist that I don't want to do therapy anymore because it seems to make me worse somehow okay look 
I have done a zigzag and some leaves on the bottom and just a little, I don't know what you call this, it's, but aren't they cute? And I'm going to, what am I going to do? Numbers, words, numbers and words. I can do both. I can do whatever I want to do. I have this, let me see. Okay. I have this box. Boop, 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 boop. I stamp stuff and then I cut it out, you know, or like, look, I have all these little things here. They don't look too bad, do they? I think they are cool. Let's see what else I got. Chronicles. Should we just, you know, start out with one? Yeah, maybe. Maybe that would be better. It's a mess. Whenever I'm done here with my mess making, I think I said it before. So I'm going to try. Maybe I even make a video. <laughs> Every time I make a video, it's more of like a motivation for me. It's very motivational. Maybe I should make a video with a mess here because, you know, I just recently, well, it's not recently. I posted the video recently that, yes, um, showing that I finished cleaning my room and everything. But because of pre-film, it has been a while already that I cleaned and I kept it clean. I was, um, let's say, do I like it? And maybe I should put the numbers. I don't know. Um, I kept it clean. Every time I was doing stuff, I would clean up and it was really good. And I'm pretty sure that I can clean this up pretty quick because now I have a home for everything. So I know where it goes. I don't have to decide anymore. Just put it away. That makes sense. It goes much quicker if you, if you just have to put away stuff. And um, that's what I'm going to do probably. Okay. I'm thinking also, I have more stuff. I have like numbers. My numbers, I sell these in my store and then whenever I stamp for sale, you know, they don't work out sometimes. They stamp not too good or I cut wrongly or whatever. Would two things be good? I don't know. So I keep them. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of them. I also give them away with my, um, whenever somebody orders something, I don't know if I want to cut the corners. Whenever somebody orders something, I make like starting $10, I think. Yeah, $10 order. I make little baggies just with some random stuff like a ruffle, maybe numbers. I think numbers all the time. I'm not sure. I think so. What do you think? A number here and then... It looks good. Do we put anything underneath? I don't think so. I wonder if I need more, but I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. However, it's been so, so, so hard lately. And one of the worst things is I feel so guilty. Because my husband had his heart attack last year and it was so scary. It was a really bad one. And he has all these replacements in his heart and, you know, his bypasses and whatever. And now I'm here stressing him out. You know, it's, it's bad, but I don't know what to do. I cannot stop. I can't just snap out of it. And I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to hide like if he is home and I am home and I'll go to the bedroom closet and I just I'm just trying to breathe in there and I'm just trying to calm down and I'm just trying to hide so he, it's not all visible for him. <laughs> Sometimes I think I won't do this here. Sometimes I think like if he knew, he's scared of what he can see, but if he only knew the whole extent of what is going on, 
in my brain. You know, I don't know. I don't know. This stresses him out so badly already. Just this part that he can see, and it's just a little part of what is really going on. It's so hard. I think for the past two, three weeks, I have been working very hard to just stay alive. It was my main purpose, basically, that I was working towards. I just, I, it's so hard. I just don't want to feel this anymore. Oh, look, that's not too bad, right? Oh, goody. This one, I cannot do this way. But I could put something on the bottom. I just don't know if it would stick. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to put this one aside for now so I can finish all of these. And I just tried to be a little random. Find some words and then numbers. So it's not both like words. And I'm also thinking I might just go ahead and put crystal glaze on it later. Makes everything look better, doesn't it? Oh, I got something in my eye too. I think the sand man still got sand in my eye. I did not wash my face this morning. I did not do anything. <laughs> I just came downstairs. It's almost eight eight a.m. I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of it in a bit. This looks like a number. Yep. This looks like a number. This looks like a very crooked number. Well, I'm glad, as always. Even though I have to kick my butt to come in here and do something, there is something, you know? This is like the most important thing to get me out of the hole. It, up till now, it always worked to make myself go in here and, you know, make a video, especially with the videos, because I have to, I have to, you know, then in my brain, I have to, I know that I don't have to have to, but collector, oh, I like that, I like the collector, but the good thing is that my brain thinks, okay, if I'm making a video, I'm like, I'm different, for this time, I, I kind of have a purpose, if that makes sense, yeah, ah, all hard. So today is Tuesday for me and I'm thinking I need to take a shower and get out like I need to go oh well I don't need to but I should go to the antique warehouse because that is something that has a lot of stuff to look at and then kind of relaxing in there and you know I'm not buying anything <laughs> I'm not buying anything except if I see something that I could put into my Etsy store or use for my Etsy store stuff because I'm not allowed to buy anything anyways even though my husband told me already that I should stop this because right now I should do some retail therapy I think it would be good for me because it would get me out of the house. But only the one, the retail therapy that doesn't require, that does not, uh, is not online. <laughs> I should do some retail therapy in stores right now because this way it would get me out of the house, right? But then again, truly, I, I don't really want anything. I'm still trying to go get my mat, but I'm like, eh, whatever. It's not... A priority it's not like I really 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 need it right now so that's hard yeah I don't know why am I talking so much this video is not too long we can do it together right I'm trying to find something shorter here field notes see whenever I don't have anything to do when I don't feel so good like physically 
I would stamp stuff and I would cut stuff. So then I end up with all of these. I would fussy cut and whatever. And then I have so many things. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that there. So I don't have to fussy cut. I think if I would not fussy cut for a long, long time, I would still have stuff. <laughs> Okay, I want I want one more of the numbers too. Because the numbers are pretty. The numbers are pretty. Do I put it here? I want to put it here kind of, but it's gonna be on the same side. It's gonna be okay. And we don't need to cut corners on everything. It's gonna be okay right here. Isn't it? Yep, it is. Okay, almost almost done a couple more and then i need to figure out how to do the other one see these are from tim holtz they could go on top too so it's not just the stickers you can do anything you want i i bought them so long ago and i didn't use them and you know why because once i use them they're gonna be gone <laughs> i i love you know a year ago if somebody would have asked me mass making i would be like uh -uh. you make the same thing over and over and over but now i kind of got totally into it and you know why because it's relaxing first of all i said it before go away thread but the other thing is all these things that we are collecting you know how we collect a lot of the things the same things like this you can just use, 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 use. And then you will see. I see in some spots already in my room that some things get less. That makes sense. Oh, I'm going to use another number. So these two in my store, look. I stamp and cut them. That's what I do. <laughs> I stamp and cut the numbers and then I sell them. It's like a win-win because... There is something for me to do, plus it doesn't accumulate, <laughs> you know? Okay, last one of these. Oh, this one is long. I'm going to have like a long word here. Oh, Alexa. Oh, yeah, I need to call. I wanted to call my GP, but I think I'm going to go with the GI doctor right away. I don't know. I'll see. My stomach was so bad yesterday. It's bad every day. You know, it's a, probably five to six on a daily basis. But get, yesterday it was like a solid eight to nine. I was just... Oh, I could barely handle it. I thought, okay, if it goes up to, to a nine, nine and a half, I'm off to a hospital. But... I don't want to go to a hospital because they don't do anything. That's the problem. My husband always says, shall we go to the ER? I'm like, what do we want in the ER? We went to the ER many, many times last year. What did they do? Nothing. Just make me feel worse. Because they would tell me it's in my head. Well, apparently, you know, this is not in my head because it's still happening. And it doesn't matter if I have good days or bad days. It, it's still happening every day, 24-7, for a year now. So, even on my medication that they gave me, it's still happening. Okay, let's see. This one, I would put something on the, maybe, hmm. I'm thinking, I'm going to put something here on the bottom, like a word, Exhibit A. I like that. I just wish whenever I cut them <laughs> that maybe I would have seen that I'm not cutting them very straight. <laughs> Some of them are really not, but it's okay. It's fine. I'm not trying to win a medal for cutting straight, right? Okay. And I'm only doing this all with you because I kind of need to talk, I guess. I feel the need to talk. Plus, I know that this video is not very long. At least I hope so. I think the first part was not very long. 
Okay, exhibit A. And do I put just a little number maybe on there? Do I have like anything here from the Tim Holtz stuff? But that's definitely not little. Tim Holtz collector, that's not little. No, that's not little. Oh, that's teeny tiny right here. I'm gonna put the teeny, teeny tiny whatever it is right there. Let me, I can't see. Okay, I'm gonna put the teeny tiny stamp thing right there. Oh, where is up, where is down? Okay, that's it. That's it, guys. That's my mask making with the uh, acetate. It's cool. I still have some acetate left. But I made 10. I used up 10 pieces at once, which is good, right? I need to find something different to do with that because doing the same thing is a little boring. Where is here? Where is my... Okay. Let's take a look. This one, my glue, my glue is almost empty. What you think? You know, where is, do I have a journals? Do I have journals here? Yeah, here's my book of ideas, one of them. Um, okay, sure. Where is it? I have, is this a belly band? I think so. You could stick this, oh, is this? Yeah, you could stick this into a belly band, you know like this and then it would be pretty you could just clip it on the clip as well right here and it would be pretty right or you could stick these into a pocket there's two pockets here actually oh i like that just you know with the pockets i would be a little careful because i left them all longer like the pieces of paper i left them longer so they they could get stuck but also Oh, look, that's a good thing for acetate, too. Ah, interesting. Maybe I'll make more. Uh, let's do it here. They could also, I think, be a pocket. If you put double set, we're like, not a pocket pocket. It depends. If you put some paper on here, you could put double-sided uh, tape here as well, you know. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to see the double-sided tape, so I would not put it here on this one without the paper, but I could put double-sided tape here and there and just stick it down. And this way I could put something in here from both sides. It's like a belly band, but it could also be a, oh, I like that. I really like that idea. Okay, so there's that. This is my mask making and therapy. <laughs> mask making therapy. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know, should I show you that? I, I, I don't see a white piece of paper. I see this one. Let's go. Let's go. This is what they look like. This one. This is the one from the random piece that I found. And I think it's pretty. I did something with that. I've had it forever. And there is another one. And look, these are kind of similar. These two. Oh, it's the same butterfly. And they cool i like them i like them i like them i like them now i just need to use them or sell them one of one or two and that's what i i tell myself use stuff or sell stuff put it in your etsy or use it they cute aren't they and there was one butterfly i don't know if i can find it that was so weird you see how they have this gold on top let me see if i can find it yeah right here this one doesn't have the gold on top anymore. When I glued it, it went like cricket. So I unglued it and put it back down and then I rubbed it and all of the gold came off. You see how this one has the gold and this one doesn't anymore. And I don't know, I don't know what happened, but all of it just came off. <laughs> I'm like, what? what's going on? <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed this. You know, I used up a little bit of whatever <laughs> scraps <laughs> and some of my plastic which i like you know and this i'm gonna i don't this doesn't belong to the video anymore but i'm absolutely thinking you know couldn't you be like couldn't this be like a page 
you know I understand that you cannot put anything on there but if you if you kind of connect here I might even sew with the, with a piece of fabric right and then you can just flip it and you have all this prettiness and it's splattered as you can see everything in my room is splattered even this doesn't look too bad whatever this one is it says flowers on the slope look like a group of yellow butterflies those red roses lying on your writing desk you know how the chinese this must be from somewhere timu or something but i didn't order it i found it you know how they translate sometimes <laughs> really funny but this could be if there is like a pretty page underneath i don't know where is that oh i haven't looked into see i marked where i wanted to do some um i can take this out already and i don't know why this is all of that is in here no idea but um, I marked where I wanted to do the mass making and it's from my own ideas, which I love, right? I'm trying to find something, a printable or something, but I don't think I used them here. There's always something on the page. Always something. Where is it? You know, like if there's something pretty and you just put this on top, you can... Ooh, look, this would be cool. Like the butterflies on the flowers, right? And then you just flip it. But it looks good. Makes sense? So I don't know where to put it. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna put it to my cool papers, even though it's plastic. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry <laughs> for taking up so much time with this now. <coughs> I hope you guys are all healthy and happy and I'm gonna try to do small projects until I get into the groove of things. I hope you're not missing the envelope stuff too much. I might even do it next week already. I do not know. But for right now, I just want to do simple things. And, um, well, I'm grateful that I can. I hope you guys are having a good day. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.